Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome to this edition of Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock in the Australian Outback, is featured in this image from the CompSat 2 satellite acquired on September 15th of 2011. Under Australia's dual naming policy, the formation is officially called by both the traditional Aboriginal name and the English name. This area in the southern part of the Northern Territory is home to a variety of animals, including the red kangaroo, dingo, hopping mouse, marsupial mole, various bats and over 70 species of reptiles. Uluru stands over 340 meters above the surrounding desert and measures about 9 kilometers around. In addition to being a geological wonder, it is a historical one as well. Ancient rock art can be seen at points along the base of the formation. Many of these paintings were created by the elders of Aboriginal tribes to teach younger generations how to track and hunt animals, much like how a teacher uses a school blackboard. The rock formation is an Inselberg, which is German for Island Mountain, a prominent geological structure that rises from the surrounding plain. Hundreds of millions of years ago, this part of Australia was a shallow sea. Layers of sandstone settled on the ocean floor and were compressed. Then these hardened horizontal layers were uplifted and tilted almost 90 degrees upward to their present position. The rock eroded slower than the surrounding softer deposits until the monolith stood high above an otherwise flat surface. From this perpendicular angle of the satellite acquisition, we can see these layers, which were once horizontal, and now appear to cut across the top of the formation. Well, that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV Studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.